Hey, it's Mike over at FisherAssOff.com, and well, what we're talking about today is flounder fishing. So I'm going to teach you about uh, catching flounder in their various stages during the year. So let's just call it, this one's about fall flounder fishing, but it's basically how to follow them around the seasons because they spend most of their time inshore, but then they'll actually go offshore in the wintertime to spawn. So what I'm going to show you is basically where to find them and what to use to catch them, what to catch them with, basically. So when you're out there looking for them, they're going to be in the fall, it's going to be a transition stage for them because they're up in these creeks and, and river mouths and just up in the estuaries, wherever it is where they've been feeding all um, spring, summer, and now they're starting to move out and head towards the inlets and passes depending on where you are heading to either the Gulf of Mexico or the Atlantic Ocean to spawn. So what you're trying to do this time of year is actually catch them on their way out. So you want to fish river mouths, creek mouths, just kind of places that are going to funnel them to you and you're standing in their way of them heading out to the Gulf of Mexico or the Atlantic Ocean basically is what my point is. So I just want to show you uh, how to catch them. All right. If any of you have ever watched any of these, I am absolutely not sponsored by Gulp. But it's really hard to beat Gulp products because they just think so bad that these fish can find them from yards and yards and yards away. I, I usually fish with two colors, uh, something dark and something light. But I want to tell you this about when it comes to uh, uh, flounder is you don't really have to fish with dark, really ever. Uh, light works just fine all the time in every water condition. So I keep everything in these bags because they smell so badly. But that's a three inch shrimp right there, gulp shrimp. Um, they actually like bigger baits a lot of the time. So I would have three inch to up to five inch it doesn't have to be a shrimp either. In fact, you know, uh, flounder are fish eaters more than they're shrimp eaters, but they don't care. They just want the movement or whatever. And so you might want to get the jerk shad, the gulp has, and that there had a swimming mullet too. But one thing I really want to cover with you is colors. Um, here's my jig set. <laughs> I got a white bucktail jig there. And then I got a bunch of uh, chartreuse things. And I have that for a reason. Uh, it's really just the lighter colors that do all the damage uh, when it comes to them. Something like this. You know, that's a, a 3 8 ounce uh, chartreuse head and just white little curly tail thing. These are real cheap. That's why I get it this kind because you lose so many of them. But if you wanted to use a 3 inch paddle tail, so what I use most of the time for just about everything is this setup right here. So if I use to have a redhead, but when it comes to flounder, it's hard to beat chartreuse and white. It just is right there. And I get these things in the bass fishing part <laughs> because they just have some cool things that I like trying out. I don't even know what this thing is, but I think it's going to have a lot. Of, I've never used it yet, but I like buying these different things and testing them out. So. That right there, I think, is going to crush flounder. I haven't crushed any yet. So what is this? This one's called a Fat Albert, the curly tail from Zoom. And the other one is Creepy Crawler, <laughs> right there. And of course, most of what I use is DOA, the three inch paddle tail shad. That's what I use most of the time. Um, but like I said, you probably want to step up when you're going for these bigger flounder. The southern flounder are a little bigger. You know, the uh, gulf flounder are you know, 14 inches or so is a, is a good one. But uh, this is a five and a half inch jerk bait from DOA right here. So all you're doing when you find these fish, you're finding them in transition, right? You got to focus on these creek mouths and river mouths like I talked about in the inlet. Once they start moving through, it's like all of a sudden there's a flood of them. So there might be none one day, next day you catch a dozen. And that's how you got to do it. You got to remember too when you're flounder fishing is you can go as slow as you want. I mean, there's no really such thing as too slow. 
you're just kind of bouncing off the bottom. Strike zone's roughly a foot from the bottom. Now, another thing, you've probably seen videos where like this flat fish that looks like a flounder is chasing something, going out of its way. That's a fluke, you know, <laughs> fluke the fish. Fluke are just more aggressive. They'll, they'll chase it down, they'll chase it 30 yards. But the fact of the matter is, these flounder, they wanna eat something that's right within say three feet of them. So when you're fishing in an area, you go three feet, three feet, three feet, and just fan cast the area to make sure there's no flounder in that spot. If you catch one, there's more. There just always is. They're never alone, never alone. But that's how you catch them in the fall. You're gonna need some chartreuse jigs and white. That's all you need. That's all you need to catch flounder. Uh, if you want, if the water's super dark and you want to fish a root beer or something like that, go ahead, but you really don't need to. You really don't need to in this case. Everything else I say, when the water's murky, use something dark. You just don't have to when it comes to flounder. So I hope this helps you. I hope you uh, can, here, here's what you're looking for. Docks, bridges, any structure, any structure whatsoever close to the passes and the inlets. You got to catch them on their way out because they're going offshore to spawn. So, hope I covered this in enough detail. I showed you what to use. Uh, yeah, just, just keep, it, keep it within a foot of the bottom. Bounce it, reel, bounce it, reel. Ba you're not in a hurry when you're flounder fishing. But you can learn more. Just go to our website, fishyourassoff.com. The whole website is simple tips to help you catch more fish. Thanks for watching. All right, bye-bye.